Oh, hello year one. Uh, welcome back to term four. It's lovely to see you again and um, I hope that you all had a really enjoyable half term break and that you were able to get out and about a little bit. Um, today in maths we're going to ease you in very gently. We're just going to do some revision of basic skills and together I'd like us to have a look at some two digit numbers. So if you just come round and have a look you'll see that I've got a place value board and I've got a two digit number here, which is the number 15. And 15 is written with a one and then a five. Remember, we read the number from left to right. Now, I wonder if you can tell a grown up near you, what does that one represent? Is it 110 or 11? Well done, you're right. The first digit represents the number of tens in the number. And this number 15 has one stick of 10 and the five represents the five ones, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five. So here is the number 15. It's one stick of 10 and five ones. Let's quickly have a look at one more so that we're feeling super confident. This is the number 24, isn't it? That's right, we read it from left to right. So how many sticks of 10 are in the number 24? Well done, it's made up of two sticks of 10 and the four represents the number of ones. So this is what 24 looks like. Two tens, which are 20 and four ones. Okay, so now it's your turn, everybody. I'm going to say a um, number to you. I'm going to partition that two-digit number and I would like you to write it down for me. So you can pause the video at any point, quickly write down the number and then I will show it to you. So can you write down first of all for me, please, which number is two tens and nine? Twenty and nine. Well done. Two tens and nine is twenty-nine. Okay, can you write down the number for me please, which is three tens and two. Thirty and two. Well done. That number is thirty-two. Can you write down the number for me please, which is 110 and 7. 110 and 7. There we go, well done. 110 and 7 is 17. Can you write down for me the number which is 4 tens and 4 ones? Well done. 4 tens and 4 ones is 44. And the last one this way. Can you write down the number which is two tens and one? Which number is two tens and one? Well done, hopefully you've written down 21. Two tens and one. Now, we're going to do that the other way round. I'm going to say the two digit number to you and I'd like you to partition it into how many tens and how many ones. Okay, so the first number is 34. Well done. Hopefully you wrote 34. Can be partitioned into 30, add four, or you could have done three tens, add four, because three tens are 30. Okay, the next number, can you partition 16? 16. How many tens, how many ones? Well done, 16 is 1, 10 and 6, all right, or 10 add 6. The next one, 28, 28. Well done, 28 is 20 add 8, or you could say 2 10s add 8. And the next one, 45. How would you partition 45? That's right, 40 add 5, or 4 tens add 5, 
And finally, the number 12. How would you partition 12? Well done. 12 is 10, add 2, isn't it? Or 1, 10, add 2. Well done. Hopefully that's woken you up today and got you remembering all about those two-digit numbers. So what I'd like you to do as the activity today, everybody, is you can choose a basic skills map. So we've got um, a variety of questions and you can choose from the one star or there are um, two star questions or three star questions. All right. They get a little bit harder as you go along. Um, and after that, if you'd like to do a little bit more maths, there are um, some extension questions here representing the numbers up to 50 in different ways. So you can have a look at that. And it's all about partitioning numbers into tens and ones. So well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.